My name is Paige, or Poetry Paige. I'm a community librarian at Deschutes Public Library. I'm excited to be here for Musical Poems, one of the summer reading programs for teens. Supplies needed. Pencil, pen, crayons, or paper. You need something to write with. And something to write on. Then take a look at your house for noisemakers. Today we're going to write a fun selection of list poems and two acrostic poems. A list poem is similar to your shopping list, where one word after the other going down the page. We're going to write down as many musical instruments in one minute, so one word after the other going down the page. Are you ready? Think about a band that you like and all the musical instruments that are in that band. Or maybe you have a friend that plays a musical instrument. Ready? I always recommend doing list poems twice. So the first time, I wrote down trumpet, piano, even have a banjo in there. And the second time, I wrote down my one-minute musical list poem. I started with drums. Trumpet's still in there. But there's quite a few more words in there for our musical instrument list poem. Next, let's take a look at all the noisemakers. So you might have some bells, um, things you can clang on, things you can shake. More bells and a buzzer. We're going to create a fun so right? We're going to create a fun selection of sounds and make some noise. Now you can do this two different ways. You can record a variety of sounds or have a friend or family member make noise and then the other write the poem and then switch back. Or again, record your variety of sounds and then listen to them while you're writing your list poem. You have one minute. Oh, I should mention, you can write down the sounds too. Add ring, four R's, five G's, have an I in the middle of the R, you can spell it however you want. Or maybe you write down what the sound actually is or remind you of. After creating your sound poems, did you notice that you made up the sounds most of the time, or did you have words like music, trumpet, or maybe even poem? You can also list your words more than once, so maybe you had music over and over again in your poem. I think we're ready to create an acrostic. An acrostic poem is where we're going to, in which the first letter of each line spells out the word. So you're going to use one word from your list poem to create your acrostic poem. What word did you use? Maybe music or trumpet? Um, use listen. Loud. You can write out one word next to it or a whole phrase. Let's see. Sound. I still have the I, the T, the E, and the N. What kind of words would you add to your acrostic poem? Where the one word goes down the page and then the phrase or word next to it is similar. Listen. Loud instrument sound today. Enjoy noise. <laughs> next we're gonna take a look at musical instruments or music or musicians in art. Go to moma.org where you can find the three musicians by Pablo Picasso. Write a free verse poem, however you want, about what the musicians are saying. <laughs> then take a look at the Met, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. The sound, the trumpets, the fanfare is now open. They had a huge exhibit in 2017 where you can see the musical instruments were hanging from the walls, against the walls, and hanging from almost the ceiling. Select a musical instrument and write a poem from the perspective of that musical instrument. So you are the trumpet. What is the trumpet saying? The poetry resources again are write a poem about the musicians by Picasso or find another musical instrument at the MoMA visit the musical instruments at the Met, and then for more poems and activities, visit the Poetry Foundation Learn and Teen section. 
Don't forget to sign up for the summer reading program. Our summer reading program is all on the app Beanstack. Again, the Poetry Foundation for more resources and the Deschutes Public Library. Under the Teen page, you can find more information. Again, my name is Paige, or Poetry Page. Thanks for joining me for musical poems and making some noise. See you at the library.